Is masturbation ruining your life? I'm Dr. Trish Lee, neuroscientist and sex addiction coach. In this video, let's break it down. So first, I'm going to talk about masturbation having not to do with sex and everything to do with something else. Then secondly, we'll talk about what's happening in your brain when you masturbate and why you need it. Then third, stay with me because lastly, I will give you a brain tip strategy and actually today's is twofold. So let's dig in. Okay, number one, masturbation's not about sex. It has everything to do with self-soothing. It is a self-soothing technique. So if you think about it logically, you found masturbation when you were young, likely when you were a child or an adolescent or teenager and it felt good. So when you first found it, and especially if it was coupled with pornography or anything like that, it is this massive supernormal stimulus and it delivers this dopamine deluge, a flood of dopamine, which is the pleasure seeking neurotransmitter. It gets dumped into your brain and it makes your brain and your body feel better than ever before. So what happens is that initial response when you were young was a self-soothing technique for the difficulties of childhood or your teenage years. And for many people, they can remember that first time that they found porn and the first time that they masturbated and how good it made them feel. Self-soothing. Okay, so now you fast forward many years later, it might be five, 10, 15, 20, it might be decades later, and you are hanging on to this self-soothing technique. So what do you need it for? This is the question for you. What are you self-soothing? You're either self-soothing something that's happening to you in the present, or you are hanging on to the self-soothing technique for the things that happened to you in your past and we'll dig into that in the brain tip strategy. But for now, masturbation is about self-soothing to offset stress and boredom. Okay, let's move on to number two. What's happening in your brain when you masturbate to make it so that it's a self-soothing technique? Well, I already told you that when you masturbate, your brain gets flooded with dopamine. Now, dopamine makes you feel good in the moment. Dopamine kind of hits hard and fast, but then it goes away. And the way that, I, and the reason that I call it the pleasure seeking neurochemical is because it gives you pleasure in the moment, but it keeps you seeking for more. That's why you have to continue to go back for more and more masturbation. You might have to increase the intensity of the pornography that you're consuming. You might have to masturbate with more intensity to be able to get the same level of arousal. It is because the reward center in your brain is becoming desensitized. And that means you need higher levels of sensitization. Unfortunately, what that means is you're basically frying out the reward center in your brain every time you masturbate. Think about that. That is how it damages your brain, one of the ways at least. So when you masturbate, you're flooding your system and it's giving you all that dopamine to feel good. Unfortunately, that's the A of an AB effect. The B is that it creates a dopamine deficit in your life. You teach your brain all the dopamine is in masturbation. None of the dopamine is in my world. And you should be able to get, albeit lower, levels of dopamine from work, from your relationships, from your hobbies, from engaging in the world. But if you get stuck in a compulsive masturbation habit, what happens is you no longer go into the world to engage. You've taught your brain that isolating and masturbating is where the dopamine is. And that's how the compulsion continues and the intensity increases and the need or the dependency for masturbation continues and grows. Okay, so number three, what can you do about it? You do not need to stay stuck in this masturbation cycle. I know it can be difficult and challenging at the beginning, but I also know that you and your brain are stronger than that. You can do this, and this is the start. Are you ready for it? 
Number one, now remember, masturbation's not about sex, it's about self-soothing. So figure out what are you self-soothing. Dig into your past and find the traumatic experiences, big or small, no thing is too silly. What's traumatic to you might not be traumatic to me, but if it leaves its mark on your nervous system, it in fact is trauma. And the reason I say that is people say, this seems silly, but I've been hanging on to this for 30 years. Well, if you've been hanging on to it, it's not silly. It traumatized you, it left its mark, and it's time to let it go. So figure out what those things are. It can be family dysfunction, it can be bullying, it can be not feeling desired. It can be not feeling part of the group. It can be a small T trauma. It doesn't have to be big. Find it. Find how it's played itself out over your lifetime. And don't look too hard. If there's nothing there, you don't have to dig up stuff that isn't there. But generally speaking, there's stuff there from our past that's lingering in our nervous system. The way to get rid of it is to resolve it to process it and integrate it so it leaves your brain and nervous system. And generally it involves forgiveness. And I know that's difficult. Forgiving the people who have wronged you by understanding the limited capacity that they had to be able to be good to you and to give you what you need or that they wronged you because they didn't have the tools to deal with life. But you're here getting the tools to deal with life. Secondly, once you figure out what you're self-soothing from the past or the present, you need to find new self-soothing habits, healthy ones like exercise, like joining groups that make you feel good, like playing your musical instrument, like doing puzzles, like shooting darts, like queuing up some billiards, like going for a walk, digging your toes in the grass, hiking, water skiing, paddle boarding, whatever you like to do, go into the world to find the dopamine so you can self-soothe in a healthy way. Crank some weights, do some push-ups. That's an easy way, body weight training. Okay, so the second part of the brain tip strategy is realize masturbation's about getting dopamine. So when you stay away from masturbation, that pattern's going to unwire. You're not going to be driven back to it because you're breaking the pleasure-seeking cycle. And especially if you're getting dopamine from the world, you're rewiring your brain not to go back to masturbation, but instead to go into your life. So you have to figure out what you're self-soothing in the past or the present and find new ways to self-soothe and preventively give yourself dopamine from your life. It will work. It may take some time and extend yourself some grace through the process, but it will work if you stay the course. Okay, I hope that helps you out. And as always, if, you re, if you're looking for help on this journey, reach out to me, drtrishlee.com. I have programs of different shapes and sizes that I've designed just to help people leave porn and masturbation behind. And as always, remember, control your brain or it'll control you.